Welcome to Tulum, Mexico. Bitcoin has broken out from the channel that we have been watching for the last couple of weeks. This move signifies a bull flag breakout, which gives us a price target of $72,000 for Bitcoin. And it also gives us a price target for Ethereum of around $2,200, between $22 to $2,300. This is setting up April for a great start and what is already a historically bullish month for Bitcoin. So stay tuned so that you can see how we can get to this price target of $72,000 and how you can maximize those profits. Hey, welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials, and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful traders. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the knowledge and resources to put it all together and take you up to that next level. So if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys have been here before, then you already know, smash the like button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you know as soon as we post videos five times a week. All right, guys, so the first trade setup that we gave you guys on Friday's video was this entry right here uh, above 55K. So if we look back at Friday's trades, um, that first entry is at 55K, and that has run up all the way as high as what was the high here? $58,496. So basically, 58.5. But let's say that you took profit at 58, which is where it's currently at right now, and you entered at 55 that puts you at about 54 55 percent profits if you use 10x leverage like i did that next entry that i gave you guys on friday's video was at 57 so above 57 i told you guys that i was looking for entries there as you guys can see it broke right out of that area um hit that 57 and went all the way up beyond 58 so if you guys took that trade, you would see here that you would have done about 17 and a half percent profits if you use 10x leverage on that trade. If we take a look at Ethereum here, then you can see that our entry that we gave you guys for Ethereum was $1,700 and it's gone up over well over $1,800 right now at this point. But let's say that you took profit at um, $1,800 exactly. That gives you about 30 percent profits on that trade if you use 5x leverage with us so first off let's go ahead and dive into uh bitcoin's chart and see exactly what has been going on over the last few days so as you guys can see here over the last days we've been slowly grinding right back up um we hit this resistance which was at descending the top of that channel it was the top of that channel it was a descending line right there from this channel that we had got rejected on multiple times right and we got that breakout so that's the breakout that we were speaking about on friday so we said that we wanted to see this breakout and now a break above this 58 level if as long as we stay here at 58 and we break above it then we should uh, be expecting to test this 60k area a break above that of course should lead us to 62 and then 62 should lead us to our price target as you guys can see here is currently seventy thousand dollars above seventy thousand dollars right so of course we already spoke about why and how we got that price target of seventy thousand dollars guys um if you did not watch the last video make sure to watch it today i am on my phone i'm recording on two different phones so i'm a little bit limited to what i can do and what i can show you so i'm not gonna go over it again but just know that uh basically the way that we got to this price target is by using that bull flag theory on what happens when there's a bull flag so basically that's a uh, big impulse move up then you measure the bottom of the impulse move to the top of it and that gives you this um, measurement right here which basically tells us where that next uh, price target is for Bitcoin. You can see on the Fibonacci levels here that we're currently sitting right at the 23.6% level right there. So uh, that's a good support right there that's currently holding us. As long as we hold above that, then I am expecting to hit 60K at some point, probably 
very soon. Of course, prices don't just go up, you know, just like we saw right here, moved up, then it consolidated, moved up, consolidated, moved up. I'm expecting consolidation here and then continuation up. Um, and just basically little mini bull flags. But remember the big picture here, this is a big bull flag. And now we're seeing little mini bull flags as we grind our way back up. So I'm definitely expecting to be hitting uh, 60K very, very soon, probably this week. And if we can break through 60K, as you guys saw, we got rejected here a bunch of times. If we could finally break through, then we should be hitting that $62,000 area, which was, which is currently the all time high. And I believe we should be able to break above that $62,000 area. So right now our next resistances that we're watching is 60K and 62K. Those are the only ones left on a break above 62. That should take us up to around 65K possibly and then we'll see what, what happens from there. But I'm definitely expecting in April, uh, Bitcoin at $70,000 or more. If for any reason we were to go down, then uh, we can see a retest of this channel right here. So that um, support is gonna be right at that 55K level. If for any reason we went lower then that next uh, support level, of course, is gonna be that 52 and that $50,000 range. In Ethereum, we're basically seeing the same thing as we're, as we're seeing in Bitcoin. As you see, we just broke out of 1800 and hit that 1830 mark. We should see continuation up. And like I said uh, on Friday's video, my uh, price target here with this bull flag breakout is going to be right up here that's just over twenty two hundred dollars just under twenty three hundred um so that's going to be my price target there i'm expecting to see that once we break that previous all-time high which is just wait well, it's actually not that over here um the previous all-time high was just around that 20 almost at 2100 right here so it's been a while since uh we hit that high Ethereum's been kind of cooling down for a while after that, but um, I think April is definitely going to be the time to retest that all-time high and break that all-time high to new highs. Um, my price target again for Ethereum is $22 to $2,300. Our next resistances in Ethereum right now that we're watching is basically going to be that 1900 level. Um, 1950, as you see, we got rejected there last time. And then of course that 2000 area, and uh, the previous all time high, which was around that 2050 area. If we see any pullbacks here short term, then we could be testing the top of this channel. That would probably be back down around that 1720 area. If we were to go lower than that, then I expect some support around that 1660 area. And beyond that, then we're looking at supports kind of down here where it bounced last week, right around that 1600 to 1550 area. Alrighty guys, so so far we've covered the trade recaps from the weekend that we made some very handsome profits by the way. Then uh, we did an analysis on both Bitcoin and Ethereum and then now we're going to cover some trade setups that we're going to be watching this week to make all of us, all of you fabulous people some profits. So let's go ahead and jump right in. But in order to make these profits, the one thing that you must do is like this video and be subscribed to this to this channel. If you're not, if you don't like this video, then you don't believe enough in Bitcoin's price to go up and the Bitcoin's price might not go up. So make sure to like this video so that we can all ensure as a community that the price of Bitcoin will go up to new all time highs. Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and jump into some trade setups. The first thing that we're looking at, of course, is Bitcoin. Now looking at Bitcoin here, the levels that I'm interested in currently is a break above this previous daily high so that daily high is just under fifty eight thousand five hundred dollars so i am setting up new trades breakout trades above fifty eight thousand five hundred dollars okay so of course the target for that one is going to be sixty thousand dollars um so you need to be taking profit on the way up there though don't wait for sixty thousand take profits as it goes up because we might get rejected before we hit sixty thousand and you might lose out on those profits. So you wanna make sure to be taking profits up on the way and using a trust stop there. The next trade setup that we're going to be watching, of course, is a 60K entry. 
Guys, if we break above 60K, as you can see here, it should lead us back up to that previous all time high. Now, there is a possibility to get rejected here and to have a fake out, so uh, be careful with that. But I think that this time around, we should see a break above that, which should lead us to that previous all time high. And of course, if we break that and get to that previous all time high, there's a high chance of also breaking that all time high and setting up new all time highs. So those are the two other breakout trades that I'm watching in Bitcoin this week, a break above 60 K and a break above the previous all time high $62,000. Now, if for any reason we head down, then I'm looking for re entries around that 57 K area and down at that 55 K area. So the 57K, remember, the way that we like to enter this trade is not on the way down. We want to enter it on the way back up. So if we see it test under 57, we're waiting. We're not going to uh, enter it as it drops. We're going to wait for a bounce and enter on the break back to the upside. Same thing with 55. If we see it test 55, we're not looking to enter on the drop, we're looking to enter on the bounce back to the upside. And last but not least, of course, we're going to be watching Ethereum. So the first one let's talk about is 1800. So we're currently we're above 1800. But in the event that we went back down to 1800, I'm looking for a trade there. That's a good trade setup that I like to take. Same thing here, though. Uh, we're not entering it on the drop. We're entering it on the bounce back up. That next trade entry that you can take here is a breakout of 1850. I like that number 1850. We saw a rejection there last time. Um, I believe that if we break that, we should head up to 1900. So um, of course, 1900 is going to be the next break above. Then above that, we're looking for a breakout above 2000, which should lead us back to our all time high. Um, and of course, a break above all time high is always a good trade to enter. Alrighty, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Today, we covered the recap from the weekend. Bitcoin had a big move that exploded above 55K, which is the entry that we gave you guys on Friday. So I hope you guys caught that. If you guys didn't catch that, don't worry. We did a new analysis on Bitcoin today as well. And we covered some trade setups for you beautiful people. So as you guys know, in order for these trade setups to work, you guys have to be subscribed to the channel and you guys have to like this video. Like that, we show Bitcoin as a community that we're ready to see new all-time highs. So make sure to subscribe, to like, and to turn on that notification bell so that you guys are notified as soon as we post new content. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, go ahead and drop it in the comments. I'm always happy to answer your questions for you. As you guys know, I am in Tulum, Mexico. I am enjoying the beaches for the week. So I will be dropping videos all throughout the week that I recorded last week. We're dropping some tutorials. Um, and then on Friday, I will be back with you guys. So until then guys, peace and love.